guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time I am opening Transformers The Last Night Autobot Hound. And I was super excited for this toy because in Age of Extinction, I never got the Hound figure. And finally, I got the Hound figure, and I think he looks really nice. Um, let's... Oh my god, I, I cannot wait for this. Um, I will say, though, the box is partly open somewhere right here. Yeah, it's, it's broken, and there's also this going on right there. I'm not even sure what that is exactly. It's just weird, but uh, I imagine the figure is fine. Hopefully, we, we can hope, but uh, we're going to open this. So, let's cut it from the side here. And there we are. I pretty much have the main characters of uh, Age of Extinction now. So that's cool. Let's bring that out. And I love how Hound's got like a short size to him, like they fill out this section. Because, yeah, they could have made him bigger, but at the same time, I think he was smaller than Optimus Prime, so him being in that scale is fine. Um, Optimus Prime is not beside me, so I can't confirm if he is about the same size. I know someone's going to correct me, even though I'm obviously going to put him next to uh, Optimus Prime at some point. Whether it's in the video or not, he's going to be put next to Optimus Prime. Let's cut out the figure, like so. Just put him to the side, like that. And cut out his weapon. So he's got this gray thing that's made for an attachment. Going to have made it into some sort of a weapon. And then he's got these ones that don't really exist in the movie, but was in the concept. So it's not like these are just coming out of nowhere. No, there was... There is some reasoning behind these designs and why it looks like this and whatnot. So. Because Hound did change his form between movies. So they have some concept art going on. And there's... So let's put that in for the time being, and let's put the box off to the side and try to close this up, even though it's it's struggling. Come on! Oh no, the weapons! No! Ah, right, come on! There we go. All right, it feels like a kazoo. <laughs> I'll just say that it it really does. I uh, got the instructions on the side. We'll put that right there. But let's take a look at Autobot Hound for a second. Now, there's some things we gotta do. We gotta open up the feet. Let's see if that rotates around this way. And then fold out like so. Aku, uh, Aku? Aku! <laughs> I do kind of like the idea of the feet. Uh, do these fold back anymore? Not that I'm seeing, but there is a bit of wiggle room, so maybe it does, and I'm just kind of not doing it right. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, but, uh, oh, okay. It uh, kind of goes up into there. I don't know. But there's Hound, and oh, he looks very nice, very handsome fat boy. Fat man. Uh, the feet are kind of not good, unless I don't... Okay, I don't have them out all the way. Well, that would explain it, my stupidity. And maybe these aren't down all the way. I don't know. I, I just got this. Um, so you're going to have to bear with me. I know I heard there was some things going on with the transformation that you need to fix when you get them uh, open. At least from what I heard. And I can't really recall exactly what those were. Maybe it says it in the instructions. I don't know. But, uh, oh my god, I love the look of Hound already. I, I mean, just look-wise, style-wise. Uh, this hand should go in further, should it not? No? Yeah, it just stops itself, don't know why. But, um, yeah, he just looks cool. I, I love the, the silver on the beard, that's nice, and... You could pop off the hat. Oh, that is such a nice feature. So glad that's added in. And then you could also pop off the waist using the head. 
I didn't know you could do that. So if you just want that down right away, just push out the head. Uh, that's a little more loose to, to my taste, and so are the hips, but uh, it's okay. Uh, you can plug that onto the back like so, just leave it there for right now. Uh, I want to attach the weapons. Let's give him weapons, shall we? Alright, so we got the low mini guns. That's fine, I do like those. You can also plug that onto the back. Uh, not as well weapon storage as the, the previous Hound. That's probably the biggest complaint for me. I, I love the weapon storage on the original one, but... You know, he's just got a nice look to him. And also, you could just give him the original weapons. I just don't have them. But you could just give it to him easily. Uh, and then you also have these other guns that are big things. Those aren't, those aren't too bad. Um, kind of wish that you can launch out, or not launch out. You can plug stuff onto the front, but that isn't too bad. So there's that. And also, you can combine the weapons. You can take these and attach them all. Um, so, yeah. And, and you got a couple of holes, a couple of pegs. Well, actually, just one peg here. You got a couple of pegs here and the hole. So, you can do other stuff with that. And you can even take this off. And you can plug that into his hand like it's, uh, I don't know. But you can do that! <laughs> So, with that, let's go ahead and transform this guy. So, I do know you extend that down, and I guess you fold up the head, because I figured that out. Uh, after that, I'm going to stop and open up the instructions. Now, I believe there's something in the, in the instructions that's constantly missed, and it's something to do with the panel on the side. Uh, I see it as a common thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's right here on the side here. These little side bits. Uh, I can I can clearly see why they're very forgettable though. So, um, but yeah, I, I've just seen a couple of reviewers who have forgotten that. No shame in that. Let's see. Uh, let's fold. Oh, okay, that folds down and folds up. And I love how the wheel transforms from a clicking joint to a not clicking joint. Very creative. And this will fold down. Does it fold down any further? No, it does not. And that will go into there. And I love this little crotch plate that gets out of the way. You know, very nice. Very creative. Uh, let's see. Lots of robot kibble underneath it, though. Let's see. Fold that up. And there we go. Oh, and he's even got the Decepticon little logos that have been scratched out. Oh, that is nice. I wish they made an onslaught, though, but that is cool. Alright, let's fold this up. And that will snap into there. And I guess connect the legs. And I figured that one all by myself. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it says fold up the weapons, but I don't really need to do that. And then let's flip over the instructions, and the arms are going to be probably difficult, most likely. Uh, let's see, so it says, raise the roof, that's the first step. Uh, and then bring down these panels, like so. And hopefully I didn't get uh, both of the same side. There was something going around where some people's hounds had two of the same side piece. So it just made it difficult to transform. Uh, let's see. So I have it like this. And the arm seems to fold up. But I can't get much of an elbow joint out of this. Oh, okay. Now I see why. I guess. Uh, I don't know. Alright, how do I do this? This is very confusing to me for some reason. It, it feels like it should go up further, but it doesn't. Does the rockets go out of the way? I don't know. Uh, maybe it does just stay up like that. I don't know! Why is this confusing me? Okay, so that just folds up to there. Let's focus on this for a second. So that just folds up to about there, like so. And then the hand goes in, like that. And let's just quickly fold that up. Does the waist come out any further than that? No, it does not. 
So, how does this work? Okay, I'm, I'm jumping ahead of the schedule. Let's see. So, this... Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, so these rockets do flip down like that. But they, they're still not allowing the articulation I need! Come on! Uh, let's see. So that will... <laughs> Why is this difficult for me? Okay, there we go. Now I got them to work. Okay. So it's just a matter of popping those into place. I knew the rockets did something, but I was like, ah, why aren't they? Oh, and the uh, the whole arm popped off. Okay. There we go. Now that we've got that, we can align everything together. And let's see, bring this up into there. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe the rockets go further down. Yes, they do. And then they slide into there. Uh, let's see. I can see where everything goes, but not everything's going. So that will go right through there. And collapse. And it just doesn't want to line up too well. Uh, granted, there's a lot going on in this. Make sure that that waist joint is down all the way. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, now I see what I have to do. Bring up the arms, then fold that in. And nope, that still doesn't want to work. Uh, let's see. So yes, the rockets are meant to be on this side. Maybe I fold them back too far? Uh, let's see. Or maybe not far enough. Let's see. That's a stopping point. And then, let's see. Why is this so difficult for me to do? And figure out. Transformers, TFM page 101, figuring out Transformers for 1986 cents. <laughs> uh, let's see, and then that will collapse onto that. And then I guess these side bits will just probably fold down. Oh, it's got a panel on the back. I didn't even notice that. Uh, let's see. And that will collapse and rotate. And plug into place. Or not. Come on. Ah, come on. We're so close. There we are. And there he is. And finally we got Hound in his robot. Or alt mode. Took us long enough, but we got it. And let's see. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's plug on some weapons together and let's make a super weapon so this was the original concept they were going to use for hound have a giant turret thing on the back let's plug that on and that looks pretty cool too so certain things might not be exactly aligned i might have some things wrong might have done things in a pretty poor order or just completely screwed it up like I normally do but as far as right now and I'm concerned it's in its alt mode and that's where it matters and it's a pretty cool looking alt mode uh, wish they changed the color of green on this but you know what it's fine it's an okay toy and you could also fold that up for no reason I guess I could have done that for the rockets but anyways uh, yeah that is pretty awesome Yay! So, let's go ahead and transform this back pretty quickly. Uh, Hound is pretty cool. Not the best toy from the last night, I will say that. Um, does it make me feel like I, I have no need to get the uh, Age of Extinction Voyager? I still might get that, but until then, that is just, you know, up in the air. I don't need it anymore. But, hey, it's a toy, and I 
do enjoy toys. So, who knows? Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, this is going to be difficult. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Can I just unfold everything instead? And would that, would that have made everything easier? Let's see. Bring this down. Oh, I guess I could have done things in a different order and that would have made things better. Okay, cool. Totally radical. <laughs> okay. But hey, we got Hound. Ah, come on. There we go. Here we go. You're making your shape, Hound. You're beautiful in your own skin. You're beautiful. Just gonna leave the rockets onto the side. Not gonna really have him in front. Why not? It allows for more articulation, and he's also still got those rocket shoulders that he so famously has. Let's see, so. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, focus on the legs. <laughs> I think I've already forgotten everything that I have to do. <laughs> this is the fun of these opening videos, is watching me try and struggle and figure out everything that's going on with this toy. Figure out its nooks and crannies. Figuring out his grannies. How many grannies does he have? Three, one for each granny. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's see. Okay, that will fold down and sit there. And then collapse and collapse and collapse. There we go. Do the same thing. That's hilarious. I don't know why. Oh, my leg is broken. Stoik. There we go. Alright. I did it! Okay. I figured it out. And then just... There we are. And there's this beautiful little red. Ooh, yeah, smashing. <laughs> so anyways, with that said, that is Hound. I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. Hopefully I didn't bore you too much. Although I'm pretty sure I did. But who knows. He's got a little bit of... He's got a bit of wiggle in his... Wiggle... Got a little bit of... Why do I even try? <laughs> so with that said, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And I will see you guys next... <laughs> yeah, fat ballerina, huh? Uh, and I will see you guys next time.